Yo, initial thoughts? Fish on. <laughs> fish on. Don't forget to fish on. Home sweet home. <laughs> If this video also gets 50 likes, just 50, just 50 likes, I'll do a feeding video of the cool fish I'm getting inside this box. Wow. What is going on guys? It is Anthony, the Long Island Fish Guy here. And as some of you may already know, I do like going out to Aquabid for looking for certain types of fish. I'll occasionally go on there looking for random type of oddball type fish that you kind of can't find in your ordinary fish store. I actually stumbled across something that one of my friends, Joe, that you've seen on this channel plenty of times before, uh, has actually had. But we also ordered a little something else. This was a little bit different though because we didn't do the ordinary shipping that you would for a certain type of fish you ordered online. We had to do something a little bit different. And who else better to explain what we had to do other than the Long Island Fish Guy? Sorry for the bad lighting, but today's a very big day. Me and Joe, me and Joe are going to pick up some pretty cool fish and we're not going to a fish store for it. But instead, we're going to an airport. We are going to MacArthur Airport. I went on to Aquabid. I've purchased fish from there before with Joe, who's just gazing off into nothing. <laughs> but we're going uh, to MacArthur right now. We had to get some pizza first, obviously, because uh, of this long journey that's about 20 minutes long. If you're not already subscribed to my channel already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any other content. Go, go subscribe. Click the button. Click the button. Go ahead. I'm obviously not going to reveal the fish to you guys right, right now, but they are a dope fish. They get pretty big, uh, but get, they're pretty slow to get there. So we'll be pretty good to go. These are pretty rare, exotic fish. I don't see many people with them in their aquariums. And we got some other really cool fish as well, but you'll see that in a little bit. Just let me drive. Hold on a second. So I really didn't know what to expect by going to this airport to pick up fish. I've never done this before. Uh, I have seen other fish channels go ahead and purchase fish online and go to the airport. I wasn't sure if we're gonna have to go to, you know, pre-check and all this type of stuff. Maybe find the a box of fish going around on the turnstile. Who the hell knows? But I did actually find out that we went to Southwest Cargo. It was like a standalone building that was like on the side of the airport at MacArthur. And I was a little bit surprised at the look of it. It was like a single desk thing. It was probably no bigger than this apartment. But we did go there, we pulled upside, and really honestly got a box of fish that you, your local fish store would really go and pick up. Hello, initial thoughts? Fish on. <laughs> fish on. Don't forget to fish on. So for my local viewers here, uh, we went to MacArthur to pick up these fish, which isn't too far from one of my favorite local fish stores, Aqua Hunt. Home sweet home. <laughs> There's so many exotic crazy fish I've gotten from this store before. And I don't need to hype it up because I want these fish for me, but I gotta give credit when credit's due. Show them the fish secret. Oreo ice cream bars. Dude, every fish will be very successful if you feed them Oreo ice cream bars. Found at your local pet store right next to the Mega Marine Frozen Foods. Now, Aqua Head always has some pretty incredible fish and we did pick up some fish there as well. We did go home and we did go ahead and unbox those fish, which you can see right here. And here are the boxes. We're gonna open them up, Joe. I always unbox these fish. I think you should do the the honors of doing it this time. No, I'll do it. Let's open these bad boys up. There's two bags of fish in here that 
we both got we both got one type of fish but two different species and then we both got two of the same type of fish um that are more of a schooling fish but you'll see right now if this video also gets 50 likes just 50 just 50 likes i'll do a feeding video of the cool fish i'm getting inside this box 50 likes let's go we can do this Moment of truth, baby. Wow. All right, take this up close, Joe. All right, these are Tiger Silver Dollars. Look pretty good, pretty yeah. big size too. Wow, definitely bigger than I expected. Yeah, much bigger than I expected too. Uh, and by the way, I bought these off Aquabid. Um, I'll put the gentleman's email address uh, in the description below if you're interested. He breeds these actually, so they're definitely uh, from a good source. This is the box we've all been waiting for. <laughs> I'm very excited about this. Dude, they're all dead. <laughs> Dude, it's a bag of blood. <laughs> It's just red. It's red everywhere. Dude, they're all dead, all of them. Man, by the way, let's look. I don't think there's any DOA. So these look like the regular silver dollars, uh, but they have like big stripes, big gray stripes on the sides. Um, and they're all alive. They all did well. Uh, this literally was shipped out this morning, so. And they, they have the stripes. You can tell they have the stripes in yeah. there, and they're probably washed right now from travel. Yeah, these guys have just been traveling all day, uh, so they should be not really colored up that nicely. And I, just by looking around online, some of the lower quality ones won't really show the, the tiger stripes that well. These guys, sh sh you can see the stripes pretty well, and they've been in a box all day. I have been wanting this fish for a little bit. Just, want, just waited for the right one for the right time. And they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's your thumbnail right there. It's small. That's what she said. It is a little sterlet sturgeon. Where is it? It's on the side. Oh, wow, yeah. He's small, look at him from the bottom, maybe. He's tiny, he's a little guy. So that's mine. Maybe you can see him a little better if you put him down like that. Now this is a sterlet sturgeon. This fish can get pretty big. It can get up to three feet in the wild, but more likely in a pond or an aquarium will only get to be about two feet. Now the one that I got is only three inches. For it to even get up to about 12 inches, will take it a pretty long time, almost about eight months to a year to get to this size. Very manageable size, could be good for the 125. Now for it to get from this size to this size, will take anywhere between eight to 10 years. So I do have a lot of time. This type of sterlet sturgeon really should be in a pond, right about 1,000 gallons, which is a lot of gallons. I will not be living in this apartment that much longer, uh, probably only a few extra months. When we do purchase a house, I will have a pond. Uh, it'll either be indoor in my fish room or it might be outside with koi and such. So this sturgeon will be given the proper home. I would not recommend anyone purchase a sturgeon like this if you don't plan on putting it inside of a pond or a monster, monster tank. Oh wow, the box broke. And this is Joe's. This is an albino sterlet sturgeon. Nice fish. We did also purchase some fish from Aqua Hut. Uh, I'll show you them right now, actually. Got some red hook silver dollars. So these might school pretty well uh, at some point in the near future with the uh, tigers. 
Um, and I also got an albino hecali. I don't know where it is. Maybe I left it in the store. <laughs> All the fish made it that we got shipped to us, and they really were, it was an incredible shipping job. So, shout out to the seller, I believe his name is Yusef. I will go ahead and put his email address in the description below. If you do want to contact him, either about sturgeons or for his uh, silver dollars. The fish now have been in their tanks for just about, I don't know, three days or so now. And they're doing pretty well. Uh, the sterlet currently is eating blood worms. I, they will actually take pellets uh, sooner or later. Uh, they will take you know things like the uh, any sort of singing type pellets and they'll eat off the bottom. They're not a natural scavenger, uh, but they act like a scavenger eating along the bottom. Uh, in the wild, they can even actually go like swim upside down, uh, mouth to the top, and eat insects that are on top of the, the water, which is actually pretty incredible. The Tiger Silver Dollars are right now my 36 gallon. I kind of wanted to monitor them a little bit more. Uh, that's how come they're my 36 gallon. It's not, they're, they're not gonna be there long term. Ultimately, they're gonna move into my 125. Now, regarding the fish that I purchased from Aqua Hut, I actually purchased Red Hook Silver Dollars. I purchased eight of them. Uh, and one day I will put all of the fish, uh, the silver dollars, all you know, two species. Uh, there's 17 total uh, silver dollars in the 125 to create one giant school of silver dollars. It'll be the tigers and also the red hooks. It's going to look incredible. I guarantee that. And also I picked up an albino hecali uh, geophagus, which is doing pretty well. He's probably about that big, not that big. Definitely have some pretty big plans when it comes to the fish keeping and such and everything that I want to do. I constantly have stocking ideas on my mind and what are my new fish that I want to get and how I want to kind of hone them and, and have them inside of their habitats. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But like I said in the middle of this video, if this video gets 50 likes, I will go ahead and create a feeding video specifically of the sturgeon as well as the silver dog dollars we got today. Again, if you are interested in these types of fish, email address in the description below. This is not a paid endorsement. I paid for all the fish I got to, uh, in this actual shipment as well as the shipping. But if you did like this video, be sure to subscribe. Check out some of the other content here on my channel. Ding that notification bell if you've already subscribed. But most importantly, don't forget to fish on.